By this time tomorrow night, Columbus City Council will likely have voted on its proposals for police reform in the capital city. Pushes for change started after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis and the calls for change that followed here in Columbus. Good evening and thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Jennifer Bullock. Council has said this is all about reimagining public safety. NBC4's Eric Halperin is live outside City Hall tonight where council is expected to vote on four proposals about police reform tomorrow. Eric. Jennifer, the four areas City Council is focusing on are independent oversight of police, demilitarization of police, no knock warrants, and including possible ties to back to hate groups in police background checks. About a month ago, Council was together when they announced these ideas, and they've been spending that time working together on these ideas. So Council President Shannon Harden says it's likely they will be approved. We are all changed because we saw George Floyd taking a, a knee to his neck. Columbus uh, we, City Council we President Shannon Harden discussing why council has been working to get police reform proposals to a vote in just about a month's time. We, we're all changed because we listened to black and brown folks who have said that um, the way that policing is done today um, does not make them feel safe. Over the past month, council um, has had about again, 20 hours of public the, hearings, heard from about 100 um, residents in those, those virtual deal. hearings, and gotten right letters right from about 1,000 um, community right members. We knew that this was the beginning of our reimagining public safety. On Monday night, council is set to vote on four pieces of legislation related to police reform. One calls on voters to decide in November if they want to change the city charter to create a civilian review board. Another would require Columbus police have a policy that doesn't allow officers to be affiliated with hate groups. A third would put more requirements in place before no-knock warrants can be carried out. It would not ban them. And the fourth is about demilitarization of police. According to Hardin, it's based on President Obama's 21st century policing report. We need to uh, be smart in terms of trying to uh, legislate our way out of racism. Uh, that is going to take a cultural shift in the minds of everybody. Dr. Chanel Jones is on the City Safety Advisory Commission and helped organize the Black Excellence March Ladies Edition. In your eyes, you know, is this change? This is definitely change. I don't think this would have happened if we would not have had the marches and the protests and the demonstration and the collective action. She says she's optimistic about the proposals, but more work still needs to be done. And Hardin says more work will be done, but they wanted this vote before recess until September. Thinking about the role that 400 years of structural racism um, has played in our community. But uh, these issues didn't come up overnight, and they all won't be solved overnight. Tomorrow night's virtual meeting starts at 5. If you want to read more about the proposed legislation, the links are on our website, NBC4i.com. Live and look for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.